So at the moment, we are on our way to Valshara. The reason being is because, if you remember, Zira... Well, actually, I didn't pick this up, but I may as well read this to you guys. This is what Zira said to me in my order hall. Light's heart is to serve as the vessel for Illidan Storm Rage's rebirth, my last act of service to the light. But Illidan is dead, and his soul is lost in the nether. Before we may attempt to recover his soul, we must prepare the vessel for his return. Across two worlds exist echoes of Illidan's past. You must venture out and find the echoes. Start where all life begins. Birth. Find Illidan's birthplace in Valshara. Awaken the memory. Witness the awakening of Illidan Stormrage. So this, we're going to get to see the moment, well, not the moment, because that'd be kind of gross, uh, to show on camera, <laughs> or for them to show in a game, but after they've been born, we're going to get to see uh, basically everyone welcoming uh, both Illidan and Malfurion, because remember, they're twins, they were born as twins, we're going to get to see both of them being welcomed amongst the Night Elves as newborn, as infants. It should An be around here. Memory stirs. Ah. When you are prepared, call to me, and together we will uncover a piece of Illidan's past. Now, I will acknowledge and admit, I might be a tad bit biased here, because I will openly acknowledge and admit that I am a big fan of Illidan, okay? I'm a big fan of his character. So... When I did this questline the first time, I had huge smile on my face throughout, uh, especially when we get later on towards the end, um, you know. But it's just cool to find out more about his backstory, especially if you didn't know about some of these things about his backstory uh, before. If you were one of those who were only familiar with the Illidan from the Burning Crusade, where they just made him a straight-up evil villain in that expansion, was was just it was just so disgusting and dis disrespectful to his character. Um, and when I say when I'm what, I, what I'm referring to is the character that we met in Warcraft Three. That was a really cool and interesting and complex and deep character that we got to know, and then all of a sudden we had this completely different version of him in Burning Crusade. And, I, you know, it was always disappointing and sad. But then, when they announced that he was coming back for this expansion, I was hopeful that they were going to do something better with his character. And then this quest line happened. Well, I hope you guys enjoy me showing you the rest of this quest line. Praise it's gonna take a little to the while, goddess. But... She has blessed us this night with new life. The birth of not one, but two healthy males. Two. Oh, hi, Jennifer Hale. The Storm Rage twins. Beautiful. Nearly identical. Except for... That one. His eyes are golden. Indeed. The child is destined for a great and prosperous future. His name is Illidan. Ah, you thought they were going to say Malfurion, didn't you? Illidan's was a life full of potential. His destiny forged in the great ordering and cast to the cosmic winds where at last it would find a home on Azeroth. Within the tiny vessel, the great cycle began anew. So now, this is the only annoying part about this quest line. Every time we do one of these, I then have to go back to my order hall and go to uh, Light's Heart in my order hall in order to turn it in and get the next part of the quest line. You know, it's like, I really wish we could just do that from, you know, where I was at. You know, at the end of uh, that 
quest and then just start the next one. It's like, oh, now there's another memory over here. Let's go over there. You know, like, Zero's kind of, like, pointing me in the right direction. It's like, oh, now go over there. There's another one over there. As opposed to me having to go back to my overall every time. Yeah, see? You have to go all the way back, turn this one in, and then she'll give you the next one. As auspicious, an auspicious start to a life of tragedy, perhaps one of the few joyous memories Illidan would have in his life. While the years that followed tested the prophesied child, they would never break him. You must remember that despite what you may see, as our journey continues, there is much more to be done, but I am not yet ready. I will call for you when it is time. Of course, that was written because these quests were released uh, over a period of time, whereas now they're just all available. They just happen like one after the other immediately. So, an unclear path. Much of Illidan's formative years were spent in Val Shara, alongside his twin brother Malfurion. As young night elves, the twins vied for the affection of the young priestess Tyrande, as they underwent the trials of the demigod Cenarius. We must travel to the Dream Grove now, where Illidan's true path would be forged. Witness Illidan's resilience at the Dream Grove in Valshara. Of course, this is a little tricky, because I'm not a druid, I am a shaman. So I'm not necessarily allowed in the Dream Grove, only druids are. But I can at least go to the, to like, the very doorway of it, like, just barely. So you see what I mean? I went there, and now I have to go back. I, I had to come all the way here, turn this in, and now I have to go all the way back. So I'm gonna this one here. Uh, whatever it is. Though we're not really going to be doing... Well, my character is not going to be doing any combat. But that doesn't mean we won't be doing any combat in any of these missions. Just to give you an idea of what I might be hinting at. What do you mean? Right. So, that... Hold on. Good luck, friend. Right, to make sure it's... It's tr being tracked. Okay. All the way up here. So let's see. Can I assist you? So I guess I'll go to the Garden of the Moon. Oh. Okay. So that world boss is, is nearby. I'll just avoid that. I mean, I could go over there to work on my... Uh, my Dreamweaver's reputation for this character, but I'm actually uh, focusing on upping my re my Dreamweaver's reputation with my uh, Druid, because it would make sense that I would do that with the Druid. Um, so I'm basically having like one character focus on this faction's reputation, one another character focus on this character's reputation, in order to be able to achieve the uh, Broken Isles Diplomat achievement, so I can be able to unlock flying in Legion. So like. I'm going to have this character, based on my current reputation here, I'm going to have my Shaman here focus on the Court of Ferrandis reputation, that's this bar down here. I'm going to have my Paladin, uh, since he has more rep right now with High Mountain than uh, any other character I have, I'm going to have him focus on High Mountain. Uh, I have a Warrior that, you know, I figured if there's any class that would have high reputation with the Valajar, it would be the warrior, right? I mean, for goodness sakes, I, they're, <laughs> Valhalla is my order hall as a warrior. Why would I not have them, uh, you know, with high reputation with a warrior, right? Wouldn't, does that make sense? <sighs> but then there's the wardens. And this, I mean, th I don't know how exactly I'm going to do. I think if I do the Kirin Tor, uh, so, let's see, Legion Fall, High Mountain, and the Nightfall. Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore because I finally got Nightfallen up to Exalted with one of my characters, so now I've unlocked the Nightfallen as an allied race. Thank goodness, that took, a, that took a while. I'm so happy I finished that. But, of course, I need to... Nex is also trying to get uh, High Mountain. So, in order to do this, you just need to get them to, up to Revered. But if you want to unlock the High Mountain as an allied race, you need to get them up to Exalted. So that's going to be, be that's going to take a while. And as you can see, I've got a couple of mounts here. In fact, let me just show off the mount I got for that. This is my Nightborn Mana Saber mount. This is what you get for unlock getting uh, Exalted with the Nightborn and getting unlocking them as an allied race. 
Uh, you get the Arcanist Mass Saber. What was it for? For um, doing a certain extent of that quest? Or that quest line? I don't remember exactly. I think it was learn the fate of the Nightborn, but you it, you still had to, you know, but that was before you could actually get up, up to Exalted. Hold on. Am I going the right path? Uh, oh, I, I better stick to this road. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to fall in the water. Oh, hi. Uh, hold on. Shavit is there a, uh... has returned to his roost. Put him out of his misery before he spreads the taint he has succumbed to. No, the Legion Assault's going on in High Mountain. You know what I find disappointing? You don't get... You get hardly any reputation doing the Legion Assault for that group, as opposed to just doing the World Quest. You do the World Quest, you'll do... Plenty of stuff. In fact, right now there's an event, 50% uh, extra rep for world quests. But you get hardly any reputation from helping save them from a legion assault. Why would you not get more rep from doing that? But I was going to say, I don't even have to use my mount, because I can just use my ghost wolf now that I have Rhaegar with me. An ancient memory stirs. When you are prepared, call to me. And together, we will uncover a piece of Illidan's past. By the way, before we do this, I've actually been uh, uh, checking this out. Uh, have you guys ever taken a look at some of the sets you can get for some of your characters? I'm sure you have. Oh, man. Uh, I was looking at some of the other ones. These earlier ones here, like this is the one I could have gotten from Molten Core, Earth Fury. Look at that, 10 Storm. Does that not look exactly like Rhaegar's shoulder pads? Blackwing Lair. I'll tell you what, if there's one item from this, I don't care, really care about the, the whole set. I just want the shoulder pads because they're exactly like Rhaegar's. If I could get a set similar to Rhaegar's, I would love that. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's focus on the memory, shall we? Illidan, your anger is misplaced. I have not insulted you. You have cast me out, Cenarius. No. You may remain here, but I will no longer be your teacher. If you wish to continue studying the wilds, you may do so with your brother. So... So I must learn from a novice instead of a master? You must learn respect. Malfurion will become the first druid, because he is a dedicated student. You are not. To walk this path requires sacrifice, Illidan. Something you have yet to understand. Brother. Interesting. Few have known such failure and rejection. Most would have given up, but Illidan would continue on, guided by the unseen hand of fate. His destiny lay elsewhere. Uh huh. So let's take a moment to, uh. Hold on. Let me just use this. Since I can't use that right now. Uh, it's interesting that in that cutscene we saw, of course, he was wanting to learn from Cenarius about being a druid because who else would you want to learn from? Um, what can I do for you? You know, there were a couple things about that cutscene that uh, Good day. You, know, you want to kind of take a moment to, to kind of dissect and notice. Um, apparently, Illidan was not a good student. Um, which I guess makes sense, considering his personality. Um, Malfurion, you know, Cenarius like, Malfurion is a dedicated student, and you are not. Which I guess makes sense when, since we, if we know both those characters. Malfurion comes across as, he would be the very diligent student, you know, like in, like in cards. He would be the one with the glasses, like, yes, I, you know, I un understand, and I'm a very diligent when it comes to my studies, you know, um... 
he would be the one getting straight A's. He'd be kind of the teacher's pet, whereas Illidan would be kind of the bad boy. Wouldn't ex you know? He wants to learn, but he's not exactly wanting to fully submit to authority. Things like that. You know, I you can kind of get that idea. Of course, Taronda was there. Um, I mean, obviously they were both vying for her. It was basically a love triangle at that point. Um, well, maybe at that point, but we know, like, during those times, there was a love triangle going on. Um, though, really, uh, I questioned whether or not Taronda ever... You know, it was one thing where Illidan was definitely in love with Taronda, but Taronda never really... I don't think she ever really returned those feelings back to Illidan. Um, but... I've also ne never... I've also had questions about the legitimacy of the relationship between Malfurion and Tyrande, but I've always kind of, you know, felt bad for Illidan, you know, that Tyrande just straight up, you know, rejected him and such. Um, but anyway, also, considering that we know things about Illidan when he talks about sacrifice, and then the implication is that he first learned, uh, I guess, about what he had to sacrifice or sacrifice in general from Cenarius in that moment where he's like, it's like, this requires sacrifice, Illidan, something that you have yet to understand. And given where we know his he ends up, we know that he ends up knowing and understanding sacrifice probably better than anyone. So it's kind of interesting that, that the implication is that that's where he first started to learn about needing to have to uh, sacrifice in order to be able to achieve his goals and, you know, uh, learn power. Now... You'll see a bit more about that when we get to this next memory. And this next one is crazy. This next one. Um, but first, let's talk to Zira. Kind of getting sick of her talking to me in my head. Failure. Rejection. From that day, Illidan would be haunted by both. Ever undaunted, he would continue the search for his destiny. Another path would be found. Ravencrest Legacy. Years later, as the War of the Ancients rage up the War of the Ancients. Yes, we are going back to that point. Raged on, and the Burning Legion's grip upon this world took hold. Illidan would meet a military leader known as Kurtalos Ravencrest. He too would see the potential within Illidan, eventually promoting him to Captain of the Moon Guard. Take note of that. He left learning druidism from Sonarius and Malfurion to pursue arcane studies, to become a mage, pretty much. Um, where I guess he had someone like Ravencrest take him under his wing to teach him about the power of arcane. Uh, a, gr a powerful group of night elf sorcerers. We must experience this memory in Black Cold, located on the western shores of Valshara. I can get better grips from this. Oh, huh, how about that? Cool. Now, I will. Now, at first, I had a difficult time trying to figure out where exactly I was supposed to go in order to trigger this. But, I think I'm pretty sure I've been able to figure it out since then. Whoops, wrong way. Alright, so, let's take a moment, because just to avoid having to do that long flight back every time and not have to rely on one hearthstone, uh, let's do this. We're gonna go over here and uh, bind our hearthstone to the inn nearby over here, uh, just so I can be able to use either of these to quickly get back. We'll just use this one over here. Let's see, where's the, ah, right here. Good day to you. Have a good one. Right, there we go. Alright, now we're gonna head to Valshara. I know, right? We're heading back to Valshara. I know. By the way, you'll probably notice I added some stuff here. Uh, I've been going around collecting some of the uh, very low-cost mounts I didn't I have before. Um, let's go to 
Raiden's broken. Look at that. Here's my Arcanist Mana Saber I was telling you guys about. It can fly. It can sprout wings and it can be a flying mount. So the Nightbor one is a ground only mount. It, it can't fly. But this one can, as you can see. Uh, as, you know, the turtles thing here. Yeah, so I basically, I went to Orgrimmar, I found, uh, and as you can see, I got the Albino Drake uh, for finally having enough mounts to be able to get that achievement to get awarded that. But I basically went and I got all the different turtles that you can get uh, to add that to my uh, repertoire here, hoping that these would be able to help me, uh, you know, that if I mounted these while in water, it would let me swim faster. Um, I've yet to fully test that out, if that's true or not. Yeah, these are basically a lot of the different mounts I've gotten. Um, I'm hoping to uh, find and collect some more. Yeah, that's right. This was the one that you can get in Tomb of Sargera. So I was like, what's this first one here? I need to go collect this one, though. I've heard about how to do it. I just haven't ma made the time to go do it. And I'm sure I could do it uh, at this high of a level. I just have to be fast about it. But hey, my shaman can use a ghost wolf to do that, so... Just kind of giving you guys an idea of what I've been up to. But yeah, like last night I was, uh, I was taking a look at some of these sets and I was just like, oh my gosh, I would want these so bad. Uh, eh. Some of these I'm like, eh, maybe not. You know, I got that one, maybe not that one. Um, that's kind of cool. Black Temple. Sunwell. I like that it shows like, hey, you have a piece of that. Worldbreaker Regalia. Look at that. That's Thrall's Garb from Child of the Crusader. Oh, you see, that? that's what my current shoulder pads are. These uh, uh, Flesh Epalders from, the, from Ice Crown. I uh, got those from that. And you can see some of the other ones here. Like, that's the full set for my Legion Order Hall. That's that's Raid Finder uh, from Nighthold. This one, though, on Mythic. Oh, my goodness. You see some of the sets? It's no wonder people are constantly doing these on Mythic. The sets you can get on Mythic for some of these are just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I will say so. Some of the other classes, not... Not as cool looking as some of the others. But for some classes, they have some really, really sick looking sets. Alright, hold on. Gotta make sure it's tracking. Alright, let's uh let's go up this way. Hi my Ev. Hoping coming up here is the way to trigger it. I'm trying to remember if this is how you trigger it. It's like you kind of have to get in the right spot. I'm trying to remember how exactly to do that. Maybe it's not up here. Maybe I do have to go down here. I'm sorry, buddy. Test my hammer. My bear, buddy. You will be the one to break. Oh no! Wait, no, it's not down here. It's up there. That's right, because it starts up there. Now I'm remembering. I was in the right, I guess, the right level. I just had to go to the right location. Oh, goodness. How do I get out of here? Ghost Wolf. Oh, no. It has to be up there, doesn't it? Look how much faster I run as a ghost wolf. All because Rhaegar is with me. I'm so happy I have Rhaegar. If 
Professor. Gotta be careful about this guy, though. So it should be like right here. An ancient. Yep. Another prisoner for my cell. Looks like I'll need to break you. Alright, let's take a look at this memory. Rooksguard! Send these devils back to their dark masters! For Ashara! For Kalimdor! Look at this! Sire, the Legion's disruption of our long-range teleportation network has made travel challenging. Better late than never, eh, lad? Those of us that still draw breath fight on. Are you prick? Sire, behind you! Another Felmar has opened! Moon Guard, focus your energies into me! Oh. We shall show these monsters the power of the arcade! What manner of fell spawn have these devils set upon us? Mother Moon, help us all! Woo! We require rest, Master. Well done, Illid. But the battle has only begun. The Legion has slain half of our forces and scattered the rest across the grounds. What you see here is all that remains of the Rook's Guard protecting the whole. To make matters worse, that monstrosity in the arena will burn the hold from the inside out if it is not stopped. Take your moon guard and rid Black Rook hold of this demonic invasion. You are our last hope, Illidan. Do what you must. Should Black Rook hold fall, all of Suramar will fall with it. I will not fail you, my lord. It's so yeah all of our energy to conjure that protective barrier if I push these moon guard any harder they will die if I can repair that deactivated portal I will have the reinforcements I require and a font of power to refresh my energy Excellent. The power radiating from the portal will energize me, so long as I remain nearby. I must remember to return to these portals whenever I am fatigued. At your command, Captain. At your command, Captain. I am ready, Lord Ravencrest. Lower the portcullis! Lower the gate and brace yourselves! Glaive throwers at the ready! So yeah, just a reminder. Run, little Ravencrest, run! There may still be time for you to flee and live out your final miserable days cowering in a tree somewhere. This is a full Legion invasion during the War of the Ancients. Just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. And there are, there's a red dragon up there, though I'm sure there are more around fighting. Because this is like one of the Legion's first major attempts to destroy Azeroth, really. I don't even have any abilities right now. I'm just running through, like, attacking. Ravencrest just sent a puff to face me. I will teach you to respect your veterans, child. You dare to defy the Burning Legion? Kneel before the unmatched power of Fel! The Fel magic is too strong. I could try and siphon energy from my moon god, 
and use it to unleash devastation upon this demon. But my mages will die too. Alas, what choice exists? If I fail, Suramar falls tomorrow, and with it my beloved Taronda. I must act now. Forgive me for what I do. Master. Wow. You, uh, you, you killed your own soldiers? You crazed fool. You sealed your own fate! You were right, demon. Fell is more powerful than the arcane. But you wield it clumsily. Let me show you what destruction a master's touch can bring! Oh, I had to... So I guess I ran out of... Uh, mana or health, and it's like, nope, you gotta go back and start over. back and get some health and mana. I have none. So yeah, this scenario can be pretty hard. But that's kind of the point. This is kind of the point of this scenario. Me? I will teach you to respect your betters, child. I can't do this, and I can't do this. I like how she gets stuck trying to catch me. What's this? Raven Crest just sent a pup to face me. I will teach you to respect your betters, child. I need mana. I'm not getting any mana. So, it's supposed to give me more moon guard to help me out, but I think it's like stuck or bugged or something. Alright, hold on, hold on. You dare to defy Alright, let's let's try this again. An ancient memory stirs. When you Yes, I know, dead, Zira. Call to me. And together we will uncover a Alright. At your command, Captain. Captain. Alright, let's do this. Crest just sent a pup to face me. 
What the? Okay, yeah, this is weird. By the burning legion, kneel before the unmatched power of Fel. The Fel magic is too strong. I could try and siphon energy from my. Come on, give me the buttons. Forgive me for what I do. Master, I am dying. You killed your own soldiers? You crazed fool. You sealed your own fate! You were right, demon. Fell is more powerful than the arcane. But you wield it clumsily. Let me show you what destruction a master's touch can bring. Oh, I'm so close. Yes, got her. Has fangs. Captain Stormrage has given us a fighting chance. Secure the rampart, Rook's guard. Advance! Oh, my goodness. Thousands more. It appears as if the demon armies are coming from the portal in the courtyard below. I'll need to destroy it if we're to survive, but I'll need help from my moon guard. So you can probably get an idea at where this is going. Especially after that first part. Just keep sending more. Vaults back. <laughs> now, in case you're wondering, yes, it is possible to, to do this. Without having to sacrifice your fellow moon guard. It's just extremely difficult. I need to find a to rest at. But that's kind of the point. Can I get to it before I die? No. Let's not do that again. Huh. <laughs> point that this was such incredibly difficult insurmountable odds that what choice was there now perhaps the reasons as to why I mean that can be kind of debatable Find a way to close that gateway. Mm. I am nearly out of energy. I need to find a portal to rest. Sight the At your command, Captain. The Legion conquers all. Sorry. 
dealt with. It's insane trying to do this without uh I'll need more of my moon guard's power. If I go too far, I will end this. I must remain. I must! The future of my people lies in my hands. of the great burning shadow. Minions, kill the hero. Ah, I, I mistimed that. Whoops, I completely messed that up. Finally, get this last gate. At your command, Captain. Nile of water is being protected by an Eridar known as Baladur. Conventional spells are useless against it. But I'll have to call down the fury of the cosmos to destroy the portal. Then it will be just me and the demon. I am the Baladur. mightiest mage hunter in all the cosmos. You stand no chance, little elf. Hunt this. <laughs> Never have I felt such power, such agony. Illidan has taken the courtyard. Rook's guard, advance. Uh... We will join the battle in the arena! Captain Stormrage, lead the charge! That's a big end. I have to jump into the arena to destroy that monstrosity. Mother Moon, give me strength. Oh boy. To no avail. I must ask for the aid of my moon god one final time. Skeleton! No! Oh 
collapsing star. What have you done? You've killed them all, Illidan! What would you have me do, Catalos? Simper and nod to our new Legion overlords as they turn our world to ash? There is always a choice. We could have... We could have what? You are blind, Ravencrest. You are all blind. This was one invasion. They nearly killed everyone here and took Suramar. The best any of you can do is criticize my methods. My mages died saving our world. What have you given? What have you sacrificed? You're a damned fool, Ravencrest! No matter. I've learned all I can from you. We will never defeat the Legion so long as cowards hold the reins. Farewell, and good luck. Perhaps you may fare better begging them for your lives next time. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Difficult decisions had to be made, but to understand Illidan's perspective is essential if we are to succeed in our mission. What would you have done differently? Huh. That is an excellent question. Now, I mean, what we could have done differently, that's, a, you know, perhaps a debatable topic. Um, what I think is perhaps a little bit more debatable is the motivations as to why Illidan resorted to those methods. Um, I will, uh, you know, acknowledge that perhaps his motivations were a little selfish, because he was mentioning Taronda and such, um... You know, as probably the real reason he was going that far, because he didn't want Toronto to die, not necessarily Suramar or the Night Elves, but mainly Toronto. Um, but see, he's he's not quite there. He he was kind. You could tell he was on the road. Uh, you know, towards the way we would know him when he was saying, "What have you sacrificed? All you can do is criticize my methods." Um, but he wasn't quite there yet because. Even though he sort of was getting there, he didn't really have the full scale or scope of what exactly he was entirely dealing with. But that's coming up, actually. The line between good and evil is thin and resides in a place where intention means little. Illidan wondered how those around him could be so blind to the threat of the Burning Legion. Fate is not without a sense of irony. Get some better grips. Alright, we will be continuing this quest line when we come back. Stay tuned.